the all-seeing, all-knowing cruise man put them on backwards. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Cruise Man here with Don Smith having breakfast at our favorite spot here in Carrollton at Awake. And we are heading back to my place to do a little touch-up work on Don's bike. Um, and I'll get into that here in just a second. I wanted to welcome all of you that uh, if this is your first time to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. We just talk about anything. Doesn't even have to be motorcycle related, but uh, it's usually we're doing accessory installation videos, reviews, tips and tricks, and of course, Motor Vlogs where I just kind of tend to ramble about anything any topic any subject so welcome i haven't done a motor vlog in a a little while i've been kind of busy but anyway don is coming over to my place because i installed a set of highway pegs on his bike as part of a video that i'm doing for show chrome big bike parts and hopefully you'll be able to see that video in the next couple of days. And the all-seeing, all-knowing, infallible cruise man put them on backwards. I put the wrong foot peg on the wrong side. So we're going back to my place to correct that little problem. And uh, I will show you in the video when it finally comes about uh, how I did that and it's actually pretty easy to make that mistake. So other than that, many of you have seen the review of the 2021 Goldwing. I want to thank all of you for watching that video. It's been a very popular video. I knew it would be. And there are a couple of things I left out in that video. I've, some, many of you have reminded me of that. I did uh, leave out the part about the uh, larger, higher wattage speakers. And that's just my fault. I just. I completely forgot to mention it because I don't use the speakers on my motorcycle. I use everything through my headset. I, and that's, you know, just, it was a goof up on my part. So, anyway, I would love to, uh, I'd sure love to have that bigger trunk because it is extremely nice. But I've got so much work put into this 2018 Goldwing, I just don't know if I'd want to have to reinstall everything that I've got on here. I guess I could do it, but it'd be a lot of work. Yesterday, yesterday I got my second uh, vaccine for the COVID-19. And I'd be curious to know if any of you uh, have been vaccinated now you may wonder why I got the vaccine because I think uh, quite a while back I mentioned I was wondering if I was even going to get the vaccine but because of my other business in the cruise industry some of the cruise lines are going to be requiring everybody to be vaccinated before you can get on board the ship. So I really uh, didn't have much choice if we want to continue that business. It was kind of a requirement. So I go on board as media, as a journalist, 
and so I had to get the vaccine so that we can be uh, prepared and cleared for sailing as, as you might say because they're going to require all the crew and all of the passengers on the ship to be fully vaccinated and tested you have to be tested and some of the cruise lines are going to do testing multiple times during the cruise I think you have to do a daily temperature check uh, you'll have to be tested uh, PCR test at the pier before you get on the ship I think you have to show a negative test within five days before you leave I think maybe even the airlines require that I don't know I haven't flown in over a year so I'm really not sure what they require for some of you maybe you have been doing some flying what you know what are the current requirements because it seems like they change them every day so that's uh, what I was doing this weekend I've also been working on the garage getting it finished up I'd also like to give a shout out to garage floors DFW because now that I've had this new epoxy polyaspartic garage floor coating for a couple of months I've just become really really spoiled I just absolutely love it I'm really enjoying my new cabinets that I had built I still do have a few things left to do from a decorating standpoint I've got some new signage uh, that I'm waiting on I did get some new uh, blinds installed to kind of match the paint on the walls and it's just uh, I think it's coming together pretty nicely I've got a ton of LED lighting in the ceiling and it's just uh, it's just been nice to get the garage finally fixed up I just wish I hadn't waited so long to do it you know riding season is pretty much here even though it's a little cool this morning it's only 54 degrees but it's supposed to get up to 80 degrees here today so we are coming into our spring here in Texas now I will tell you that we've had a lot of wind already this year and I'm hoping that we don't have one of those windy springs but I'm afraid we're going to we had a very nice spring last year and in fact our our uh, nice weather lasted quite a while we had uh, several months of really good riding weather so we'll see what happens this time maybe we'll uh, get lucky and have another great riding season make sure you put in the comments down below what's the uh, weather like in your area right now are you able to ride some of you've been asking me about the availability of the the new Pathfinder LED power accessory hub and I'm still using it on my bike obviously and it should be coming out we're hoping in May uh, there have been some delivery delays because of the factory in Japan that makes the chips and my contact at Pathfinder LED wanted me to remind you that uh, it's really nothing on their end they just don't have the raw materials to finish the product so COVID has really thrown a wrench into all the production in Japan because they've closed down a lot of factories this year and that's the reason for the delay but uh, I've been using the uh, their new power accessory hub for the last oh, I don't know a couple of months and have been very pleased with the performance of it and I'm looking forward to showing you the installation and it's just uh, something that I think you're going to want to add to your motorcycle if you don't already have a CAN bus isolator and there will be more motorcycle detailing videos coming we're gonna do a thorough wash show you how to how I and the technique that I use to wash my motorcycle there's also some special care tips on how to maintain and clean your dash lens and your windshield 
I don't know what that means. He's holding up the number two. I don't know what two means. Don is behind me and he was holding up two fingers. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Maybe is this a group writing thing? You can see things beginning to green up a little bit because the weather's warming up. We lost a lot of our shrubs with that freeze that we had a few weeks ago. You can see a lot of dead plants. You maybe not be able to see much on the GoPro because it's such a wide angle it's hard to get the detail. But a lot of people have been digging up a lot of their shrubs and throwing them away and they're going to have to do a lot of new landscaping around here. And I've got some, I'm not sure if they're dead or if they're still alive and they'll come back. I just don't know. And what's really weird is there will be in our yard maybe eight different shrubs, the exact same uh, type and four of them will be they look dead and the other four look perfect i just i don't get it it's really weird it's like some of them were completely unaffected and other ones uh were really damaged and here you can see a big pile up of shrubs right here where somebody's throwing their stuff away they've just dug up the whole yard there's another pile over here and if you live in texas and you suffered through that uh that freeze let me know in the comments how did it affect your shrubs but we're seeing a lot of dead uh, landscaping around here i want to thank you for joining me today on cruise man's garage and i will see you on the next cruise man's motor vlog